Okay, this is the second video in the COM tutorial, well, the COM with Internet Explorer tutorial. So, um, the last one we left off with this script, basically. Uh, we wrote it over in the scratch pad. Um, and it just opened up a website and didn't do anything else after that. We opened up a search website. If you want to see that again, uh, it was basically we typed something uh, or nothing and it loads up the Internet Explorer browser. Uh, after it's done loading the web page and everything. So we're going to move on to something a little more advanced. Um, this time we're going to, this this is basically the same thing, it's just with Google. And um, what we did is we built a search query. So we're going to say, um, I'm feeling lucky. Uh, and the query is the query. And the site is autohockey.com. This is nothing really New. This is basically what we did in the last video. So we're going to say, we're going to search for a command. How about input box? Which I haven't tried before. Input. <laughs> input box. Okay. So it does that and it loads the documentation on autohotkey.com in this nice little window. Um, that's, that's cool and everything, but we're going to take that a little further. So we're going to go to this next one which is autohotkey search tip.ahk and we're going to see what this does. So first we're going to look through it and everything up to here is the same. It's exactly the same as the other one. Um, and then we navigate uh, this and then uh, all right, what we're doing now is we're taking information off the loaded web page. So if this is input box, we're saying the pointer to the web browser, uh, get the document of that and get the title of the document of the pointer of the web browser. So uh, we're taking the title of the page, which is what you see in the top bar. I believe that's what the title is. And then the syntax, this is a little bit more complicated. And I'm going to show you how we'll build this. Uh, we'll do it again. So first we're going to need Internet Explorer, um, which I have to find. Oh, here's Internet Explorer. All right. And then we're going to go to, let's find the input box page. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go to the input box. Alright, and now we want this. We want all the information in here. So how do we find that? Well, um, I prefer doing this in a different browser, but since we're using Internet Explorer already, we might as well go with this. So we press F12 to open the developer tools. Uh, every Internet Explorer browser has this. I believe we're using Internet Explorer 8, and you should be using at least 8. I don't know if it'll work with anything earlier than that. Um, and then we're going to go to the script tab, and you see we have a console here. And we also have our HTML. Okay, so if we look right away, we see the syntax is in this paragraph tag. Um, unfortunately, we don't have get elements by class name, which is a JavaScript function, which we could use uh, in later versions of Internet Explorer, but we can't use it here. So instead, what we'll use is get elements by tag name. So we go through here and we say, all right, it's a paragraph tag is what it's in. So we'll say document. This is something uh, you know if you have JavaScript experience. Um, if you don't, you can just piece together it a little bit and just uh, try to make it work. There's also some good documentation, which I'll point you to. Maybe put a link in the description. So document.getElements. by tag name. Let me just make sure I type. Yep, I typed that right. All right, so we're going to take that and we're going to say get p elements, which is the p tag. You don't even need to know what it means. You just need to know the name that you see there. All right, so we're going to get this this uh, list of paragraph elements. And let's see what the first one is. And the first one is 0. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, oh, dot inner text, because that's what we care about. Oh, no, that right there is the description. So you see, display an input box, display an input box. That's our first paragraph. So how about the second paragraph, which we write one for? Oh, and there we go. Now we can get that text. So we take this, and we copy it. And we bring it over to our auto hotkey script. And you see right here, 
this is basically that. It is that, exactly. So this part here is what we just found in Internet Explorer. And remember, remember, remember to have this PWB part here. If you don't, it just won't work. Syntax will be an empty string. I made that mistake when I was writing this, actually, and it took me about 10, 20 minutes to figure that out. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a tray tip that says the command and the syntax. And just for laziness, I put uh, 5,000 or five seconds sleep. We'll change it to like 10 or something. Okay, so now we're going to try this. A um, uh, good command. Uh, how about tray tip? Okay. Now look in the corner here, and you see we downloaded the website. We never even showed it. We never set um, visible to true. All we do is we open the web browser, we get our information, and then um, we display it. We set visible to false, and we never set it to true. So you see that we don't even know if we're using the script. If this is just a script in a folder somewhere and we run it, we don't even know that it's using Internet Explorer. So this is a way of doing it uh, in the more transparent way. And um, so this can be used for uh, really anything. And uh, the alternative to this method is URL download to file or any other way of just downloading the HTML from a website. But I think this is much uh, easier because you can just say get the second paragraph tag instead of um, instead of like looking at plain text, we get to use the Internet Explorer browser and all its immense functionality that they've spent like, I don't know, a long time working on over at Microsoft. So this is just a shortcut way of doing that. And uh, it's, it's called object-oriented programming when we use this instead of just looking at plain text. So that's it for this video. Um, I'm not sure. I'm looking at doing a random password website, which uh, uh, I have the URL here, but I haven't finished that script yet. So if I get that finished, we'll do that in the next video. If not, it'll be something else that's like this, but a little bit more advanced. And we'll be using um, form navigation and input elements. So it'd be like things like logging in to websites this way, and then only displaying it after it's logged in or logging into a website and then manipulating an account or something like that, that's what the next video is going to be on. So if you're interested, check it out.